What's going on everybody? I'm back with another high risk coin buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a 10 million dollar buy-in. And they're actually letting us bring our own quarters from previous games today. We got a thousand of them. Well actually 1200 of them because they gave us an extra 200 quarters. Since I did that 10 million dollar buy-in. So anyhow, wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a new world record win. My goodness, they got this thing loaded up fantastically well today. Looks like probably the world's largest tower of $5,000 chips back there on the pusher. Nice, there was a quarter pyramid up front. We already got that to go. Sweet. And they got all kinds of gold towers in there. A whole bunch of $10,000 chip towers stacked on top of those. Let's see what else they got in there. I think I can see two mystery bags. There's a blue mystery bag on the right blue shelf. And a brown mystery bag on the left blue shelf. Might be able to win them later on. We'll see. We'll see how the game goes. Oh my goodness, that great big old tower on the pusher. It's losing $5,000 chips at the base of it. It's a good sign right there. Come on, nice push. Nice, there it goes. But all of it got stuck in there. Let's try to get it cleared out real quick. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice. Wow, that's the waterfall we was waiting on. Oh my goodness, that was millions up on millions of dollars we just got right there in $5,000 chips. That is exceptional. This game is going miraculous today so far. And check that out, there's a sky blue mystery bag hidden in there. Oh my goodness. Well, for a moment there, I thought there wasn't gonna be any mystery bags on this first round, but Guess I was wrong. There was one hidden inside that tower. That is awesome sauce. There's like two gold towers on the edge on the left and the right corner. Those are super, super close. And we still got probably like 600 quarters left in the bowl. Oh my goodness. Well, one of them towers fell backwards. It landed on the blue shelf. Nice. We got that tower on the left-hand side and the right there. That is phenomenal. So let's get that loot chute emptied out again. Alrighty, A and B coin busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So we got that loot chute all cleared out. Turns out there was like a gold bar or something stuck in there. And it was blocking all the chips and quarters and stuff from falling on down to the payout chute. So anyhow, let's use that skill stop button. Try to get a nice base of quarters. Build up behind that tower on the left hand side. Because if we play like normal, it might take a little while to get that tower to go. But stacking up the quarters like this really really speeds up the process of winning the tower so let's keep on doing that there's tons of five thousand dollar chips about ready to go nice that was a spectacular push right there so after we win that tower and all them five thousand dollar chips and the ten thousand dollar chips and the gold on the right side i will open up that sky blue mystery bag so stay tuned for that and if you want to leave a guess down in the comments and uh, let me know what you think might be inside of that sky blue mystery bag Hopefully it's something really, really nice and valuable. $5 chip would be nice. A couple $1 chips would be nice also. $10 chip, $50 chip. All those would be uh, amazing. Yeah, and they got so many towers on the blue shelves today. I'd say there's more money on the blue shelves than there is like on the play field so far. Yeah, and there's multiple ways I could win all those towers that are on the blue shelves. The first way, I could stack the quarters up really, really high back there on the pusher using that skill stop button. And for example, say if one of them gold towers was like hanging over the blue shelf just a little bit. If I stack the quarters up really, really high, I could trick shot those into the play field sometimes. But like, none of the towers are hanging over today, so I guess that first way wouldn't work out. But uh, the second way I could win those towers is if there's a $5 chip or a red earbud hidden in there. And if I win either one of those two, I would get to cash it in. They would move all those towers to the play field for free. And like I said, that could be hidden inside one of the mystery bags. You never know. Hope so anyway. And uh, if that $5 chip or red earbud is not in there today, then it would cost me two times the original buy-in to get them to move them towers to the play field. So it'd be 20 million to get the blue shelves cleared off. And that would be a $30 million buy-in in total. 
since the original buy-in was $10 million. We already have $10 million invested into this game right here. And we could really, really use a massive win on this game right here because I played like three other games before this one. And one of the games was a winning game. I think we only profited a couple hundred thousand off of a $20 million buy-in or something. I mean, hey, a win's a win, right? But the other two games we didn't do so well on. However, we did win two bounty chips, and that's what I used on this game right here. I decided to use those on this game right here. That's how I was able to bring a thousand of my own quarters. And this game looked like it'd be pretty difficult. There wasn't any quarter towers in there today, unfortunately. Well, except for that quarter pyramid. But anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. So let's go collect the quarters, and we'll try to get that remaining tower. Be right back. Alrighty, we're back. So before I continue playing, I'd like to go ahead and open up this sky blue mystery bag. So let's see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got two gold dice, the $5 chip, and I believe we got two $1 chips. Yes, we did. That is absolutely exceptional right there. So the gold dice, we get to roll these at the end of the game, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. And the $5 chip, we get to cash this in. They will take all those towers that are on the blue shelves and they'll put them into the play field somewhere. And each one of these $1 chips is worth 500 free quarters. So I get to cash in both of these. They will give me an extra thousand quarters. That is absolutely amazing right there. Let's get right back to pushing. Let's try to get that tower on the left hand side and those uh, $10,000 chips on the right. Then we'll probably go ahead and cash in that $5 chip and the two $1 chips. So normally they have that $10 chip and the $50 chip in that first mystery bag that we win. But uh, who knows, they might have switched things up today. That $10 chip and $50 chip might be inside one of those mystery bags that's on the blue shelves. You never know. So pretty much that $10 chip, if you don't know what that's for, that's pretty much worth one free tower. I would get to cash it in. They'll let me spin a wheel and whatever it lands on. That's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in the play field. And that wheel has all those different types of chip values on there, like $1,000 chips, $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips has gold bars as an option also, and $25,000 chips. And they'll build that tower in the play field. But no sign of that $10 chip today, unfortunately. And the $50 chip, if you don't know what that's for, I would get to cash it in at the end of the game. And they would take anything that's fallen down those side slots and they'd put it back into the play field. But no sign of that chip today either, so. I mean, it still should be a pretty decent game for a $10 million buy-in, I think. So anyway, I forgot to tell you all how much money we're down today. I told you all about the three games that I played. One of them was a winning game, and the other two was losing games. So I think we're down close to, let's see, what was it? $49 million at the moment. It was pretty close to $50 million, but we're just going to say $49 million. I mean, that's a lot of money to lose, so hopefully we can make that back on this game right here. Yeah, hopefully there's some white dice hidden in there. The white dice, those would multiply our winnings. We already got like two of the gold dice, and those would multiply our gold, but we need the white dice if we're going to make that $49 million profit back. Well, at least we don't have to pay $20 million to get the blue shelves today. That's a relief, ain't it? Oh yeah, them $10,000 chips on the right, they're about ready to go into the payout shoot any moment now. Come on, nice push. Nice, we got that right side all cleared out, so let's push on that left side only. Oh yeah, that big old tower right here, it's about ready to go any moment now. Let's just keep it pushing on that left side. Nice, got a $5,000 chip right there. That's been a pretty good game today so far. It's going exceptional. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned this, but we made a little over $7.6 million in chips on that first round whenever we got that massive tower to crash down. So this is doing phenomenal today. And also, take a guess down in the comments section and uh, let me know how much money you think we're going to make back today from the $10 million buy-in. 
know that's a lot of money to spend on one of these machines, but I do this for you all. Like I've said many times before, I try to make the best content out there, and I try to make it as entertaining as possible. And I know the majority of y'all like to see the big buy-in videos, so that's why I make them. And let me know if you'd want to see more videos like this. You want to see more like 1,000 quarter challenges. Nice, we got that tower on the left side. That is phenomenal. So let's try to get them chips out of there. Then we'll be ready to cash in the $5 chip and the $1 chips. So yeah, let me know if you'd want to see more 1,000 quarter challenge videos. 2,000 quarters at once. 3,000 quarters at once. Uh, would you want to see more like $10 million buy-ins all the way up to $150 million buy-ins? Or do you want to see larger buy-ins than that, like $200 million or so? I try to stay under $200 million, or no more than $200 million, as I should say. Because that is a lot of money to spend on these machines. And a lot of y'all ask me what I do with my winnings. Well, I save 50% of it, and I uh, use the other 50% of it to make these videos. Because I'm not going to put back everything that I win into making these videos. Now, that'd be terrible to lose all those millions of dollars like that, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I save 50%, and I play with the other 50% and make these videos. So, I hope that answers your question. And the gold bars... I think those are worth whatever one ounce of gold is at the moment. I think they're around like 1900 and 40 dollars an ounce, so they might have went back down just a little bit. I think that's what the spot price of gold is anyhow. If somebody can let me know the exact spot price of a one ounce gold bar down in the comments section. I would highly appreciate that. And I saved pretty much every bit of the gold that I win because I've heard they're going to go up in value here soon. So anyhow, that right there was the last of our quarters. Looks like there's only like... 25 30 grand in there remaining so i think i'm gonna go ahead and cash in the five dollar chip and those one dollar chips and we'll get right back to pushing all righty anv coin brusher has her turn let's get right back to pushing so i cashed in that five dollar chip and both of those one dollar chips they gave me an extra thousand quarters and they took all those towers that was on the blue shelves so they put them all into the play field looks like the mystery bags are in pretty good spots oh my goodness well tower on the right back there on the moving platform fell toward the left hand side and we lost a whole bunch of ten thousand dollar chips to the blue shell oh my goodness nice we got one of them towers to go nice two or three of them now my goodness this is doing phenomenal today it's been an excellent game that's for sure making a fortune well it looks like that blue mystery bag got stuck nice we're getting tons of gold bars though that's for sure Oh yeah, this great big old tower is about to go any moment now. Come on, nice push. All right, well, let's get that loot chute emptied out. Oh my goodness, wow. Nice, we got that enormous tower of gold to crash down. Sweet. Well, I guess that made a little bit of room for that uh, brown mystery bag to go. It's like right there on the edge. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Nice, we got it. Oh my goodness, well, I think a gold bar is stuck in there. And it is blocking stuff from falling down. So let's get that cleared out. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got that brown mystery bag. So I will open that up here shortly. Yeah, I'm kind of worried that there's not any white dice in there today because there was none on top of the towers. And there wasn't any in that first mystery bag. But I mean, we still got two more chances getting white dice because there's a blue mystery bag and a brown mystery bag we done got the brown one that blue one is still stuck on the left so i'll probably end up paying that extra hundred grand later on have them take all those chips that we lost and put it back into the play field and also if anything gets stuck against a glass like that mystery bag over there on the left if i call them back here they would rearrange that or just count it as a win so might call them back here here in a few minutes but anyhow let's go ahead and start using that skill stop technique slowed up maybe like five six seven eight hundred quarters at once see what happens try to get a large base of quarters built up behind them towers especially the gold towers and the ten thousand dollar tip towers on the corners because those are going to take a little while to go i think now we're not going to give up on them though and we still got a second chance or two more chances 
of winning that, uh, what do you call it, the $10 chip and that $50 chip. Because remember, we hadn't won those yet today. So, might be a pretty short video if we don't win those chips. Yeah, hopefully they start adding all those chips in there more frequently. Yeah, one thing I haven't seen in there in a little while is that uh, dark blue earbud. And that got us the cash only bonus game. I haven't seen that in there in like a week or so. Yeah, it's becoming like a rare item to see. Well, we got that center all cleared out now, so let's keep on stacking up the quarters. My gun is dropping tons of quarters on the floor. There goes another one. I'll pick them up here in a few minutes. I ain't worried about them. And we already got tons of quarters anyway. I think we got close to, let's see, what was it? 44, 4,500 quarters. It was something around that. So that should be way more than enough quarters to get the whole entire machine cleared out. Especially if there's no $10 chip or $50 chip in there. Because after we win that tower and that tower right there, probably going to be the end of the game. Now we'll open up that brown mystery bag here in just a second. Let's see what I'm saying? See how we're getting a large base of quarters built up on that right side? Yeah, once those quarters reach that tower over there, it will start moving it forward tremendously. Just keep a close eye on it and you'll see what I'm saying. Alright, we only got a couple quarters left. Let's get them in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up that brown mystery bag. How does that sound? Alrighty, here's that brown mystery bag. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything really, really nice and valuable in there. So hopefully this one has that $10 chip or $50 chip in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got three white dice and another $1 chip. So that $1 chip is an extra 500 quarters. And like I said, these white dice, we get to roll these at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely phenomenal, but it looks like... We're not going to get that $10 chip or $50 chip today. It's not looking too promising at the moment, but you never know. We might end up getting it here in just a second. Might be in that blue mystery bag. Hope so, anyway. All right, well, let's load this thing up with quarters once again. Try to get a large base of quarters built up behind these two towers. And if this round right here doesn't get these remaining towers in that blue mystery bag, I'll probably go ahead and pay that extra hundred grand and have them put those uh, $10,000 chips back into the play field. And who knows, they may even rearrange these two towers that are on the sides. That'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't have to stack the quarters up like that. Well, it all depends on the location of the towers. I'd prefer them put the towers like right there in the center or back there on the pusher. Because it seems like if the towers get over there on the corners then they take forever to go so we'll call them back here here in just a second and I'm really really determined to get that blue mystery bag on the left I want to see if that $10 chip or $50 chip is in there so that'll be our last chance of getting it so it might have that $10 and $50 chip and it might not or who knows it could be that dark blue earbud that'd be pretty nice that way we could get that cash only bonus game. It'd be super, super cool if we could. Oh my goodness, well, I didn't even realize that that tower right here on the left is leaning forward just a little bit. Hopefully we can get that here in just a second. Come on, nice push. Wow, it's super, super close, y'all. It's about ready to go. Yeah, that one on the right, it's still got a lot of progress to go. So, it's not looking too promising for that tower right there. May not be able to get that on this round. I mean, that's alright though, because whenever I cash in that, uh, or whenever I pay that extra 100 grand, they will probably rearrange that tower. They normally do. So, we'll see. Oh yeah, tower on the left, it's going any moment now. Come on, nice push. Nice, we got it, and we got that blue mystery bag. That is absolutely exceptional. It's been an outstanding game today, that's for sure. Nice, got a bunch more $10,000 chips. All that right there is about to go. Sweet, we got it. This is doing amazing today. Well, 
Well, it looks like there's still two ounces of gold stuck on that left-hand side there. Yeah, I think we just need some quarters or something to fall down on top of it. It might push it on down into the payout chute. Oh my goodness, dropping quarters on the floor. All right, well, we only got a couple quarters left in the basket. Let's get them in there, then we'll open up that blue mystery bag. All right, let's see what that does. Come on, big win, give me something. All right, well, let's go ahead and open up that blue mystery bag. All right, here it is. Let's go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything good and valuable in there. Like I said, this right here is their last chance of getting that 10 and $50 chip. So let's see, hopefully it's in there. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got two white dice and two gold dice. That's not bad, not bad at all, but unfortunately we didn't get that 10 or $50 chip. And I mean, like I said, it should still be a pretty decent game. Let's see, how many white dice have we won now? Like five of them and four of the gold dice. So nine dice in total, that's pretty good. Not bad, not bad at all. So anyhow, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pay that extra 100 grand, have them put those chips back into the play field. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I pay that extra hundred grand. They took all those chips that we lost to the blue shelf. And they just took all those other chips and stuff that was in there. And they put those right there in the center and combined it all in like one enormous tower. So there's a whole bunch of $10,000 chips up there. It's stacked up pretty tall, so it might be a little bit difficult to win. I'm not sure. We're going to keep it pushing right there in the center. And also, I cashed in that other uh, $1 chip, and they gave me an extra 500 quarters. So we got a little over, I think it was like 4,900 quarters now. Pretty close to 5,000 of them, I guess. And also, they said if we end up losing anything to the blue shelves on this round right here, they would do a free reset. So, for example, say that tower falls toward the left-hand side of the right, and we lose a bunch of chips of the blue shelf, they'd put it back into the play field for free. It wouldn't cost us anything at all. So that's pretty nice, ain't it? So anyhow, hope y'all are doing good and having a wonderful day so far. Remember, if this is your first time watching and you're enjoying the videos, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. It would help out a lot. We're on the road to 140,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of this month, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Oh, nice, we got that tower to go. That is outstanding right there. And also, while you're at it, hit that like button. Let's try to get 10,000 likes on this video right here. If we can get to 10,000 likes in a day, or 24 hours of this video right here being uploaded, tomorrow I will do a half a billion dollar buy-in. How does that sound? But only if this video can get 10,000 likes within the first day of it being uploaded. Well, it looks like there's 20 grand in there. Nice, we got one of the 10 grand chips. 10K to go, let's get it. Super, super close to the edge. That's got it right there, more than likely. Nice, we got it, got it all cleared out of there today. That is absolutely remarkable. This has been a marvelous game today. Absolutely marvelous. So now I'm going to call them back here. I think we've won nine dice in total. We got five of the white dice and four of the gold dice. They will put all nine of those dice back there on the pusher. And we have to roll them on down to that play field area. And whatever they land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them over here real quick. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's keep it going. So I called them back here. They put all nine of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower level. Hopefully they all land on some gigantic numbers today. And if any of them dice land on ones, just pretend they're zeros, because the ones do not count at all. Well, that first white dice landed on a one, unfortunately. Well, that one right there made up for it. It landed on a five. That's pretty good. Oh no, we got another one. I mean, overall the buy-in was $10 million, so I don't think it'll be that difficult to make that money back. Oh nice, we got a six on the other white dice. We got two more white dice to roll. Oh, we got a two on that one. Let's see what the other one lands on. Nice, we got another six. So I think we're gonna call it quits right there because that six looks like it might flip over to a four. So anyhow, I'm gonna count everything up, multiply our winning center goal by all of that, and I'll let y'all know what we've won back 
from a ten million one hundred thousand dollar buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely incredible. I ended up winning twelve million and fifteen thousand dollars in chips, and all those swat dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by nineteen. And in total, I ended up winning two hundred and twenty-eight million two hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars from a ten million one hundred thousand dollar buy, and that is absolutely exceptional. That's another huge life-changing jackpot win today. Absolutely mind-blowing. And on top of that, we won 174 ounces of gold, I think it was. And all those gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 13. And in total, I ended up winning 2,262 ounces of gold today. And the spot price of gold is like 1,940. So that means we got an extra $4,388,280 in gold today. That is remarkable. It's been a magnificent game today, that's for sure. So that's not bad, not bad at all for a $10,100,000 buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, be sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the post bell notifications. That way you get notified for whenever I upload a brand new video. And also, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of videos, that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, that will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe, you can click that button up top there to subscribe. So anyhow, we'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all take care and have an outstanding day.